Delhi Police Constable Subhash Tomar, who was critically injured in the violent protest at India Gate on Sunday, has died. He passed away at Delhi's Ram Manohar Lohia Hospital this morning, where he was battling for his life for two days. Subhash Chand Tomar was reportedly trampled by agitators at India Gate when protests turned violent. At India Gate on Sunday, thousands of protesters defied police orders and gathered there to demand stricter laws against rape and more safety for women in the capital. Many policemen were injured along with protesters as pitched battles were fought between the two sides, questioning the demands for justice by protesters and also their agitation. The family of the deceased Delhi constable demanded to know, do they not deserve justice? All right, now these are the pictures that we are bringing to you from Nigam Bodh Ghat, where his cremation is set to take place. These are pictures of the VIP dignitaries who are present there right now. You can see Ajit Singh, Delhi Chief Minister Sheila Dikshit, Minister of State for Home, R.P. and Singh, apart from the police top brass that are present for the last and final rites of Constable Subhash Chandra Tomar, who passed away this morning after battling for his life for two days. He was in a critical condition for the last two days in Delhi, in a Delhi hospital. He breathed his last this morning. So apart from top cops, there have, there's been a significant presence of VIPs, including Delhi Chief Minister Sheila Dikshit. Remember, the political cla class has uh, got a lot of flag for the manner in which they've dealt with this entire crisis, especially Delhi Chief Minister Sheila Dikshit. Let's, in fact, get you some of the reactions that we got from Nigambod Khan. पुलिस और जरा मजबूत हो जरा समझे क्या हो रहा है और साथ ही सजा मिलनी चाहिए ये नहीं है कि चाहे दस साल हो सात साल हो मेरे ख्याल से दस हजार से ऊपर के रेप के कोर्ट्स में पड़े हो तो ये जनरल तभी अगर सब जगह फौरन खाली आप दिल्ली में बना दें कोर्ट्स फास्ट ट्रैक ये तो आपको सब जगह बना दें आपको लगता है ये कानून में बदलाव होने चाहिए इस पूरे मामले में की मांग लगातार उठ रही है सर क्या कहना चाहते हैं कमिश्नर के इस्तीफे की मांग लगातार उठ रही है सर कोई खुद की जवाब कह रहे हैं तो राजनीति जो आप कह रहे हैं वो नहीं पूछ सकते इस समय सवाल ये है कि मेरा मानना है पुलिस और चुरुस्त बने और जो हमारा न्यायपालिका है कहीं ना कहीं इन केसेस को कम से कम समय में उनको तय कर लेकिन उसको फास्ट ट्रैक कोर्ट के लिए या कुछ भी कहिए जिससे एडजमेंट मिलते जाते हैं ये कि कितनी सजा हो ये सवाल नहीं है देखिए ये कि उसको मृत्यु दंड से ही हुआ ये कोई सवाल सवाल सजा तो मिले ना अजीत जी संसदीय पद से बुलाने की मांग की क्योंकि तमाम लोगों ने मायावती जी ने भी की थी क्या All right, so we just heard the aviation minister Ajit Singh, who was uh, present there at Nigam Bodh Ghat for commission of uh, Delhi Constable Subhash Tomar. Uh, my colleague Jugal Purohit now joins us live. Jugal, well, this certainly has to be the most tragic turn that these protests have taken. We saw how many people got injured during those violent clashes on Sunday at India Gate. But this morning, this police constable who was just performing his duty breathe his last the full facts are yet to be out as to what led to his death but this certainly is a solemn moment for everybody to introspect that's right uh, we are in fact we saw the entire short class of Delhi police turning out as well as officials from the ministry of home affairs led by the minister of state for home as well as the union home secretary so you you can see and gain the kind of importance that the police the administration, the government of India is attaching to this constable death, clearly going to show that the government wants it for the record to be known as, as an incident, even though, as you rightly pointed out, we are yet to know the full facts behind this case. But this incident, of course, from their side, is absolutely being shown as an incident where an angry mob effectively killed one of their officers who was on duty. We are aware that the postpartum report is not yet out, should be out in the evening, and that will perhaps throw some light 
on whether he died out of some injuries emanating from some violence or what was or, or it was some kind of a natural death which occurred as a result of cardiac arrest. Remember this story we had heard early on when the incident happened and the constable was shown as injured. However, notwithstanding all of that, we were witness to some very emotional scenes here at the cremation. We saw the entire family of the constable turn out. We also saw his wife and three children, very young children, actually breaking down at the side of the body being brought out from the uh, from the decorated Delhi Police Trust. So all in all, a very emotionally charged moment. And uh, of course, it was an, it, it was a moment which was uh, uh, which was attended to by the who's who of the Delhi Police as well as the Union Home Ministry. Prashita. Well, there should be no politics over it, but invariably uh, we do see that happen. That's exactly what seems to be happening here as well, Jugal. Uh, we just heard Arvind Kejival who had to come out and defend uh, his team members, including Manish Sisodia. Uh, as the DCP earlier claimed, Delhi DCP earlier claimed that Manish Sisodia had secured bail of eight people who were accused by Delhi police, who were picked up by Delhi police for injuring this constable who's passed away today, Manish Susodia categorically denying that charge, saying that we did not secure anybody's bail. Uh, so clear politics that, that seem to have overshadowed this tragic incident uh, as many are putting Arvind Kejriwal's party under this banner and Arvind Kejriwal at the same time putting Delhi police and the incumbent government under scanner, questioning their role in this entire episode. All right, we go back to Jugal as soon as uh, we get back to him um, online. Let me quickly go back to Aditi Anant Narayanan, our correspondent, who is at Jantar Mantar right now, where protests are still on. Mercifully, they're peaceful. Aditi, I just want you to reflect across the sentiments that you're picking up from ground. Uh, the protesters there today, the focus, of course, has shifted uh, on this constable who breathed his last after being injured at India Gate clashes. Um, just take us through the sentiments that you're picking up from ground among the protesters. What do they have to say about uh, police, in fact, being at the receiving end in this crackdown? I have spoken to many people uh, at Jantar Mantar here and people do realize that it was because of a group of uh, unruly anti-social elements that the constable uh, lost his life and they do realize that it is a very sad turn because their protest was for a good cause. Their protest was for the life and for the dignity of the girl who is right now admitted at the Sathajan Hospital and somehow on Sunday the thing just went out of control and, uh, and I have one such protester with me. So do you think the situation went clearly was out of control. There were two sections of people. On one side, there were protesters who we saw were appealing to the entire crowd, appealing to the police to maintain calm, to maintain peace. And on the other hand, there was a section of uh, people who were pelting stones at the police officials. So, Like many of the people who are known to me by through faces and all, they have told me that there are a group of people who are carrying stones in their bags. They, they were carrying some bags and there were some group of people who deliberately wanted to go to Raisina hillside where they want to protest and uh, you know uh, uh, remove the barricades over there. They were abusing policemen and provocating them and you know that's why the things had happened like this. Because the police got annoyed or provoked by those anti-social elements. And they were deliberately been done by some, you know, for to, to take some. And we do course. understand that the constable was just doing his duty, and well, he lost his life while doing his duty. Along with constable, there's so many other policemen also who were got hurt. There's so many innocent youth, without having any, you know, uh, reason, you know, uh, to get beaten by police people, and first time in their, you know, uh, small lifetime they have got this kind of a treatment. So many of the ladies, they have gone with their husband. Even my wife was there on, uh, you know, Sunday. On uh, and we have to just run away from that particular situation. So it was a very bitter and uh, bad experience for all of us. And considering, you know, 26 Jan was coming ahead and Mr. Putin was having a visit the next day. Right. So these are the things. I think the government was also very slow. That the rest from the government side should have been come either on Friday or or on Saturday. It was too late. So, Richika, as you just heard, people do realize the sentiments. People do understand that what happened was absolutely wrong and it was completely uncalled for. Richika. Aditi Anant Naranan, they're joining us from Jantar Mantar. We're also bringing to you live pictures right now from Nigambodh Khat. There you can see state owners for 
Delhi Police Constable Subhash Chandra Tomar, who passed away this morning, he was reportedly critically injured during those violent protests on Sunday at India Gate. He's been battling for life for the last two days at Capital's Ramano Harloya Hospital. Presence of dignitaries as well at Nikam Bodh Ghat, including Delhi Chief Minister Sheila Dikshit and Minister of State for Home RPN Singh, apart from Delhi top top cops. A pregnant moment there for Delhi police officials as well as they lost one of their men during those violent protests. We are also awaiting the post-mortem reports to know the full facts as to what led to Constable Tomer's death at India Gate. That report is likely to be out by 6 this evening. In the meantime, President Pranam Mukherjee has also condoled the death of Top Cop. In fact, he said violence is not a solution. So clearly a day to introspect, a day to seek differences and uh, see reason.